All right, let me ask you a question. Can you tell the difference between good and evil? Can you do that? Because we have a media that apparently cannot do that. Now, we know that the media is corrupt. We know the media is crooked. We know the media lies to us all the time. The media has a meta narrative. Any story that captures the imagination of the people, the media wants to twist to support its narrative. And very often, it is exactly the opposite of what is true or what is good or what is beautiful. And this crookedness of the media has highlighted this past week with two videos that went viral online. The first is a commencement speech from a NFL kicker, Harrison Butker, who's speaking at a commencement address at a Catholic university. He happens to be Catholic. And the other is an old video that surfaced about a rapper, P. Diddy, who's literally beating a woman almost lifeless. Interestingly, it should be obvious which is good and which is evil, but the media can't seem to tell. So I'm going to run this little test for you. I'm going to show you a couple clips of both of these videos. I don't want you to tell me which one is good and which one is evil. Let's just try that here, okay? ...to speak more boldly and directly, because as I mentioned earlier, I have leaned into my vocation as a husband and father. And Not as bad, a man, right? To the gentleman here today, part of what plagues our society is this lie that has been told to you that men are not necessary in the home mm -hmm. or in our communities. Totally agree. As men, we set the tone of the culture. And when that is absent, disorder, dysfunction, and chaos set in. Obviously. This absence of men in the home is what plays a large role in the violence we see all around the nation. Very clear. Other countries do not have nearly the same absentee father rates as we find here in the U.S. And a correlation mm -hmm. could be made in their drastically lower violence rates as well. Be unapologetic in your masculinity fighting against the cultural emasculation of men. Do hard things. Never settle for what is easy. You might have a talent that you don't necessarily enjoy, but if it glorifies God, maybe you should lean into that over something that you might think suits you better. All right, now, one of the more outrageous things that he says in this video, at least apparently outrageous according to our media, is that women do well to marry and to raise children and to be homemakers, okay? Now, is that so uproariously wrong? Well, the media apparently thinks so because he was almost universally lambasted. He was chastised. He was ripped apart for having said things that actually sound like they support the traditional Christian family. Can you believe that? All right, now let's compare this to another clip which recently surfaced. I'm looking here at Representative Anna Paulina Luna's Twitter feed here, and she posts a clip recently from CNN. So let's watch this. Obtained exclusively by CNN appears to corroborate some of the allegations of abuse against music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. Right. The video, captured on multiple cameras, shows Combs assaulting his then-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, to in a hallway here. at a Los Angeles hotel in March 2016. Really tough to watch. A lawsuit filed by Ventura in November last year and settled the next day referenced actions that seem to match Drags those seen in, in this video. That. There is no audio. According to the complaint... All right, we'll have to stop there. Very tough to watch, and I apologize for that. But here's my question to you. Can you tell the difference between good and evil? Can you do that? One of those clips is good. One of those clips is evil. Which one is it? Do you know the difference between your right hand and your left hand? Do you know the difference between up and down? Do you know the difference between east and west? Do you know which one the sun rises and the other the sun sets? Well, apparently our media is so crooked and twisted that even the difference between good and evil has become entirely confused. One man, the media seeks to destroy. The other man, the media constantly uplifts and cherishes and praises. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for checking in. Love you lots. Talk to you later.